Hey what's up everyone so in this video I'm going to show you the best apps for this month so do check out my best apps videos for previous month linked below in the description box. So let's get started. So the first app on the list is SwiftKey Neural. It's a new keyboard by SwiftKey. Visually it seems like the old one. You might not even know the difference between the old and the new one when you try it. The major difference in this keyboard is that it uses neural model to predict words now. It's a lot different than the previous Ngram model, which needed to search through a large database and only read the last two words in a sentence. Now SwiftKey takes a different approach to predict words. It looks in the entire sentence and is able to sequence together words as code to find accurate predictions. You also have got all the useful features from the previous SwiftKey like ability to resize it, change the layout, customizing options and the SwiftKey flow. The only thing missing here is the SwiftKey Cloud which will be added in the near future. It's currently available in alpha for free in the Play Store and the links below in the description box. So the next app on this list is InstaDeck. So if you encounter a word while reading whose meaning you don't know. So normally to find its meaning you need to remember the word first and then go and find its meaning online or from a dictionary. With InstaDeck, you can just copy the word and check your device. Then the meaning will appear in your screen. It's that simple. There will be no interruption in what you were doing. You can just continue to do whatever you're doing after you know its meaning. It will save you a lot of time. So to make this work, all you need to do is download this app and download the offline dictionary which is linked inside this app. So that's all about this app. It basically does one thing and it's good at it. The next app on the list is Splice. So it's a music player, but unlike the stock music player, in this music player, you will be selecting few songs and this app makes and order the music for you. So you can choose how you want the music to be ordered with decreasing or increasing BPM and you can also choose the mix time, the length a music will be played. So this app will analyze all the music and order it and mix it for you. So overall, I enjoyed using this app it's better than listening music from a normal playlist and the premium version of this app allows even more options like more transitions and more music ordering options and you can even save a playlist in the premium version. The next app on this list is Tufts. So this app adds a row of shortcuts in the notification panel so you can choose either to add apps or shortcuts here. So after you add it, you will be able to access those apps or shortcuts very quickly as it will always be present in the notification panel. So there are many apps in the Play Store which does the same thing but this one is very light. It consumes very less memory and has very small impact on the battery. So from its settings, you can choose its shortcuts and applications and you can even customize its look. You can choose the shape of the box in which the app is located you can change the ring color, label color, background color and many more. And here you have options to enable second row and you can even make this app launch when your phone boots up so you'll have all those shortcuts and apps present in your notifications right away. So that's all about this app. The next app on this list is AppMe. So this app allows you to connect multiple devices in a network to create a multi-speaker setup. So once you open this app, you can either host a party or join a party. So first on one of the phones, you need to host a party. So once you click the host party button, you need to select music. Currently only music from SoundCloud is supported, but more music servers will be added in the future. Then a code will show up in a screen, which you can use to join a party from another device. So on the other phone, open this app, press the join party button and enter the code. So sometimes I found this app to work flawlessly, but sometimes it showed problems while connecting. So currently it's in its initial phase and I am sure that it will improve in further updates. Overall, it's a great idea and something worth trying. The next app on this list is Click Me. So this is a reminder app which can add reminders very fast. Comparing it with other apps, it's very efficient. So on the main screen, you can write text and below there are various times when you want this app to remind you you can even set your own custom time from here you can even capture a picture or add a reminder using your voice and then you can associate a contact with this reminder 
So from here, you can choose which contact you want to associate this reminder with. The best feature about this app is that a small window will pop up every time you end a call. This window will automatically dismiss after a few seconds. This time can be changed from the settings menu. So from here, you can add a reminder and the last contact you talked with will be selected here. And this window will also pop up every time you take a screenshot. So from the settings menu, you can enable or disable specific features provided by this app. So that's all about this app. The next app on this list is Contacts Plus. So this app will replace your phone dialer, message and contacts app. It lets you to do more than what your default apps could do. You can import contacts from your Google and Facebook account and apart from that you can even block numbers. So from settings here, you can go to block numbers where you can add contacts. It will even show you how many calls and messages this app has blocked for you. From below here, you can customize this app. You can change the background color or add a background image if you want to. This app also has options to back up your contacts and even call locks into cloud which can be beneficial. It's also got some useful features like options to merge duplicates and it also has got some widgets which you can add in your home screen. So that's all about this app. So the next app on the list is Khan Academy. So the best online tutor has finally made its app available in smartphones. The design of this app is good, the transitions are smooth and the content are organized here. So in the main screen you can view various objects based on its difficulty level. So there are courses like maths, science, economy and many others which are categorized and its videos are also grouped on the basis of the grade. Then at the side you can search for particular topics. There's even an ad option so that you can watch the videos later. So that's all about this video. I hope that you guys have found some application for yourselves and do watch my previous videos of best apps and games of the month and do subscribe for more. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.